Hello YouTube, and to quote Lucas C, hello to my fellow car modelers. Today we have a 1973 MPC release of a 73 Dodge pickup customizing kit. Um, this is a kit that was actually produced uh, by uh, MPC of the Fun Group at General Mills. So let's take a look around the box. So taking a look here, we can see that this has three bonuses. Comes with, um, or you know, three big bonuses. Just talking about uh, the different offers that MPC had at the time. And then the other item here, or the end plate, which we do have kit number one seven three zero nine, and then some of the items here. Still find it fun that this was made by General Mills. So uh, just a note before we dive into the box, this box has uh, obviously been opened, but um, I had also started this kit at one point. The truck body would have been white as well as the uh, tail section. I've also removed the four uh, four wheel drive options out of this, um, which would have been uh, the lift kit for the truck here as well as um, the tires um, for another build that I was planning on doing. So uh, this kit did come to me as complete as um, I can you know, guarantee. However, I have removed them myself. So I'll point out those parts. So starting off, we'll just go ahead and start off with the clear parts. I mean, it's, it's an auto kit. Um, clear parts are pretty thick and not exactly 100% crystal clear. A uh, little wobble magnification in it. We'll take a look here at the instruction sheet and it decals down in here for a moment. So a little bit of history on the actual truck itself. And then starting in with the wheels and tires, obviously if you're doing the stock version or the four wheel drive, um, as well as which how you're gonna spec out the motor, exhaust, parts, Standard, pretty, pretty standard auto kit. Uh, does come with the you know stock manifold with a single carburetor or a high performance manifold with three carburetors. Just go ahead and keep that folded under, make it a little easier to see. And then putting in some of the framing again. Are you going to go with the stock or uh, larger area cleaner suspension? Putting in the stock suspension putting in the firewall plate. So instead of molding all the detail onto the actual uh, tub of the chassis, it was a separate plate, kind of nice. And then again, um, how are you gonna build it? Stocker, four wheel drive for the trucks, and then putting in that front grill and then flipping over to the end here, finishing up the little details, the tailgate, um, if you're going to do the roll bars, um, additional lights, again, whatever the case might be. And then again, some uh, promo and advertisement stuff from the uh, MPC and General Mills. So, kind of a neat look at this old kit. So let's dive in. Like I had mentioned, the uh, body I've started to paint um, might be stripping this back, might not. But um, it did come as just a standard white shell pretty standard for most auto kits as well as this here now one thing that is kind of nice this came as a solid unit um, which how that got molded I don't know um, but basically it was uh, molded as a single piece which made which makes it to where you don't have to worry about it warped uh, being warped or um, the alignment being off when putting the side panels on um, just made that portion of it a whole lot more simple. Go ahead and set the decals to the back for a moment. Uh, most of the parts have fallen off the tree, um, sadly, but you can see, you know, air cleaner is there. The interior, pretty basic. The one nice thing I have to admit that they did it in this kit, uh, see if we can get it to focus. See if I can, there we go. Um, they actually molded the seat belts on, lap belts, um, at least the center two. Why don't they do that today? Something. <laughs> Give us an option for a seatbelt buckle. Every car has to have it by law. Why can't the model have it? <laughs> Seems like a simple part. Uh, under frame and chassis, which is all, I'm sorry, uh, the base plate um, and chassis is all one. So 
Uh, but for 1973, you know, hey, works. Then the chrome parts. Now I have taken one of the chrome pieces off to uh, try to look at it with one of the stock wheels. So you kind of see that fan blade, headlights, a single air cleaner here, rear bumper. Bring that out to the side. I'll grab some of the other trees. Again, one of the back. So the wheels, again, by by its age, I mean, like that, stuff just falls off all the time. So, sadly, I can't give you a specific detailed look at exactly what all of this would look like. I'm actually looking. Looks like at one point, we have lost a tire. So, that'll have to be scratched up. Um... Now, this kit was purchased at an extreme discount, um, so, again, missing parts is going to kind of be part of the game, but I really wanted to just put this out here to show you guys that this kit does exist. Um, they also did give a nice little uh, plaque here, which was kind of cool. Um, again, having not built it, obviously, I can't say what all is missing or isn't missing out of this, um, but what makes this interesting was, as you've seen on the uh, actual front, this was released with Daytona USA decals, specifically for a safety truck for the NASCAR, and includes the NASCAR International logo from that era. So, again, really interesting. Um, again, this kit was uh, purchased, obviously, secondhand, but... Um, Again, the fact that um, it exists, I've only seen maybe one or two on eBay, um, and, and I've been looking for for literally years. So, um, they do exist, it's just an extremely rare truck, but hope you guys have enjoyed kind of taking a quick look at, um, you know, what does exist of my release, or my um, kit of the 73 Dodge pickup from MPC.